Well, hi there. Yep. We're here to talk about the ZBook X2 G4. Yeah, this is something we have never done before, and this is a uh, the this is a new computer, and we were going to talk about this. It's actually kind of a tablet laptop, and we're going to mention the good, the bad, and the ugly. Well, Jim, friend, was that you that did that? Uh, the, the scream there it sounded pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Clint Eastwood around here? Well, yeah, this is... You have to ask yourself. You feel lucky. <laughs> Do you feel lucky today? Well, this, okay. this is the uh, Z-Book. And one of the reasons that I really wanted to talk about this, because normally we wouldn't be reviewing computers, but supposedly HP has worked directly with Adobe to put this together. In Dude, fact, it comes... Let them see more of it. It comes... Perfect. <laughs> it comes preloaded... You know, I feel like <laughs> okay. it comes preloaded with Adobe Creative Cloud. They supposedly work very closely with Adobe. Also, um, Wacom. It comes uh, with a, a pen. It has the Wacom drivers. It's not a Wacom pen, however. It is an HP pen, and we'll get to that in a moment. So okay. first off, I thought we'd talk about some the physical of the, physical, the the ports in here. Let's see. We get the left, right. If I got it oriented right here, yeah, the yeah, left side. Okay, left side. Um, port on the left side. It's got a earphone connected in there or headphone connector, and um, the power switch right in here, which is very difficult to find when you're trying to turn it on. It's got a volume controls, up and down volume, and. Um, down here, right here on this, so actually, acts actually on the keyboard itself, but I'll talk about that. It's a card reader. Mm. You can actually put your credit card in there if you have the proper... Oh, if you have the chip? Uh, yeah, if you have the chip card, and it'll read the cards. It's an MC reader. And this here is to hold the uh, pen, so they just kind of use that double putting in there, so you can put your the HP pen in there. So it looks a little bit like, almost like a PCMCIA type slot. That's interesting. Yeah. Nope, it's not. You know, I actually put my credit card in there and it popped up and said, bing! Okay. So interesting. All right, so I what's on the, what's on the right that, side, Jim? Okay, on the right side, we have the uh, power plug down here. And um, then it's got two um, USB-C, th these are Thunderbolt connectors. And you can actually connect those into a VGA because it does not have a VGA in it. And it's got a USB 3.1, I guess that's the A, the standard. USB A 3.1, yeah. HDMI output. And uh, here is for an SD card. And it's got a little plastic one that goes in there to fill that up if you're not using a card in there, but you can put your SD cards in there and uh, read them. Um, other interesting is it's got this kickstand here. This is a, aluminum. <laughs> Very easy. Uh, there's a there's a slot in here, but I couldn't find it when uh, just like this switch. But yeah, it's got a nice kickstand, so you can put it down. You can put it at different uh, degrees as far as how you want to put it. Uh, to use it. I can't set it down because if I set it down here, it's out of sight. <laughs> you can't see it down here. That's all right. But they, they've seen it. Okay. So, um, some models also over here have a fingerprint reader. And I don't believe this one does have it. You can see right there where a fingerprint reader okay. would go. But well, I don't believe this particular mine has that fingerprint reader. Talk about your specific uh, specs in your machine that you have. Well, I wanted to mention that because you can get that right, added if right. you need a fingerprint reader. Okay, keyboard. This is kind of interesting. I'm going to break it here if I can. I can as you see, the keyboard actually comes apart. It's much, much lighter. Keyboard uh, has good feel on it. It has a, a touchpad in here. And um, this is Bluetooth. So even when it's disconnected, you can still use it, and it's got magnets on here. Let's see if I can do this, Fred. You can hear a click into place. So you can take this off, and basically when you take the 
keyboard off, this becomes like a giant tablet, which is kind of interesting. You can still use the keyboard, though, if you put it off to the side. Uh, talk about the unit itself. Back here, it's got a 720p camera. You can see that right there below, right there. And it's also got a front-facing camera, which I think this one's got a little lower. I'm trying to remember. This one's at 8 megapixel in the back. Actually, this is a 720p. This one on the back here is full high definition. This is 720. So if you're doing Skype interviews or whatever. Also interesting, and I doubt if you can see it, but it's got two IR lights on either side of that camera because it uses the Windows Hello that basically will read your face recognition to sign into Windows. Mm. So if it's in dark, little lights come on in order to for it to see and do facial recognition. And that works very, very well. So far I've had no complaints about that. Um, on the sides of the monitor, it's also got some custom switches that you can um, basically you can set these to do whatever you want you can even do it by software so if you're running Photoshop for example you can have these uh, pre set for specific functions within Photoshop if you're doing Premiere or After Effects you can have it set for those and it will recognize when that program is running and it'll which um, and it has three different modes in there that you can set. The only problem that I have with these, I, it's almost impossible to see them. Uh, and it, they have them raised like a little braille, but it's so small, I can't feel it. Take, see what you think <laughs> when you're going down in there. As far as seeing them, I can see them. You can see them, yeah, in the light. Like that. But a lot of you, you were in an airplane and you're in dim lighting. And you're trying harder. to reach over there. Yeah, it's and, uh, this one do I want to see? It's, it's very difficult to do, believe me. So that's, uh, I'm trying to think of this particular model has 16 gigabytes of memory. You can get them up to 32. This has got the eighth generation Intel 7 chip in it. Um, clocked at 1.9 gigahertz. There's other options that you can get there. This particular one has a 512 SS, uh, SS drive. It's a solid state drive. And um, you can get various, I think, from 256 up to one terabyte. Um, got an NVIDIA Quadro graphic card, two gigabyte. Now that's not really a lot anymore. So it's kind of on the low end of the, the, the quadra scales, but that's the reason why it works well with the um, Adobe uh, products. It's a 14-inch screen. It's 14-inch measured diagonal. What is nice about this screen, however, it's a 4K UHD, and it's what HP calls their dream color. This is actually preset, and you can go in and change it or adjust it if you want it R RGB Pro. It's factory preset to the standard RGB Pro or if you want standard uh, sRGB whatever you want there's a whole list and you just go in there and select those and that is actually backed up and it's by computer so if you ever have to reload anything in there you can bring all the factory specs back in for the graphics which means you really don't have to go in there and do the uh, uh, you know measurement the screen is dead accurate um, it's also a yeah, multi-touch and it's anti glare disp display it's kind of got a kind of rough on the top here and this is one of the things I'm going to get into the bad these are the speaker ports for the Bang & Olufsen speakers so this weighs about the total 4.78 pounds just under 5 pounds this by itself is 3.64, so it's it's fairly hefty. It's not super light, but it's gonna last a while. So we already mentioned about the kickstand. Okay, so that's the uh, 
the good. It also it, it runs fairly cool. I haven't had any problem with it overheating. Battery is supposed to be good for 10 hours. Realistically, you'd get maybe six to eight on it. Depends if you're doing full Adobe products, maybe you get four hours. Um, it's got uh, the Wi-Fi support built in, 802.11 uh, uh, LAN NFC. Uh, that's near field. And you and I one day did that with your phone. The NFC, the near field communications, mm -hmm. is actually built into the touchpad touch, touch pad in here. And it worked with, of course, my Apple phone doesn't have that. The new 10, I think, the X has it, but not mine. Okay, this also, the uh, keyboard says Bluetooth it has its own little power supply built into it, too, so you can use it. Uh, as I mentioned, it comes preloaded with uh, the Creative Cloud, so it doesn't come with Creative Cloud. You still have to pay for that, but it comes preloaded. Well, tell me some of the bad. All right. Oh, the other thing, it does come with an HP pen, as we mentioned, which right. is the mentioned Wacom earlier, drivers. Right. All right. Okay, the bad. Well, I told you about the fingerprint reader. Do I or do I not have a fingerprint reader? Even the people that I bought it from couldn't tell me. I say it does not. It would go right in here, but I don't. There's no like the software it, or nothing yeah. for it. I don't think it does. Okay. And it was not mentioned in anything, so that's eh, not that bad. But no manual came with it. Um, I had to go out to the HP site and download the manual. It had a little quick start guide in it, but this had so much to it, they should have given it something that had a little more information. It was really tough trying to find the information. Probably the worst thing on this, as far as bad, is it's expensive. This, uh, they start around uh, $2,500 and go up to $5,000, depending on the options that you want in it. Probably the five thousand dollars. You get a fingerprint reader. <laughs> um, they did have. I, this has been around for a year and a half, two years now. So they did have. Um, I guess some that they were closing out, which is how I got mine. And I'll get into that in, in just a moment here. The other thing is, I thought as bad as my old HP computer, my Spectra. The it was also Bang and Olson, and the audio was quite low on it. It wasn't that good. This is worse. At times, I can barely hear it. So unless you're using the headphones with it, you might as well forget about the uh, the audio on it. It is really, really, really low. Okay, so should we the last now part, the get, ugly. get into the ugly? All right. Well, <laughs> let me relate real quick the ordering experience. As I said that they were apparently closing some out or they had some left over they were wanting to get rid of and they had a terrific price on one that was uh, reduced down to seventeen hundred dollars had all the specs that I wanted and uh, I got a coupon that saved even more money ordered it three days later I get a refund back from HP without any explanation whatsoever so I contact HP and said, what's going on? Why did I get a refund? And they said, oh, well, the computer that you ordered online was already sold. It just didn't take it out. It went back. It was still on there. So HP, you're a computer company. You're telling me that it takes you a week to for your inventory to change on your website? That's really bad. <laughs> I think it was because of the discount and the extra coupon that got me a real big discount that they just didn't want to sell it for that. That's what I believe. Uh, anyway, when I went back into it, the only one there that was in the, with the specs I wanted was now $2,500, and they wouldn't accept the coupon now because I'd already used the coupon, even though they had refunded my money. I mean, that's just no way to treat a customer, as far as I'm concerned. Um, did I mention the computer is expensive? Yes, yeah, you did. <laughs> once or twice um, okay what did you find out after you bought it well after I bought it I had uh, an issue with uh, they said don't go and download any drivers unless you go through HP to get the drivers because they worked with Adobe whatsoever and Premiere would not uh, recognize the graphics card in it it wouldn't use the Mercury engine which is one of the main reasons you want to uh, you know, use the NVIDIA cards. Um, so I 
contact them and they said, well, don't use the program that came on the machine. He sent me to another website, download this program. And I said, really? <laughs> don't use the one that came with it, that the instructions, the quick guide said, use this to get your drivers. He said, no, don't use that one. I did that, still wouldn't recognize the uh, Mercury engine, still wouldn't use the graphics card. So HP said, well, I don't know, I guess you're going to have to contact Adobe. So I contacted Adobe, and Adobe said, well, you just need to get the latest drivers. So I go out to NVIDIA, downloaded the latest drivers, and lo and behold, it worked fine. So when HP got back with me, I explained what had happened. They said, oh, yeah, well, sometimes it takes us a few weeks to catch up. Well, the trouble is, Adobe's constantly upgrading. So do I or do I not get the drivers from you guys? Um, the worst thing at Kimoni says, you know that the warranty on your computer's expired. And I said, what? I just got this thing like five days ago. Sure enough, go online, warranty expired. So that was in April when I ordered this. This is now, and twice I've had to contact them. I wrote to Adobe, sent the information, pictures, everything, to prove that I, including the receipt I got from HP, still nothing called the support again and they finally said okay it's been taken care of yet right now if I go online and go to my computer put the serial number in it comes back and said warranty expired so I have no idea if I call up for support what they're seeing are they going to see that the warranty is still valuable it's supposed to have a one year warranty on it so so HP what's going on um so, you got any other questions there? Or if uh, did I mention it was expensive? <laughs> well, it sounds I mean, for like, that kind of money that you're spending, like all HP, all, that, you're not specifically happy with it. Well, I am. The machine itself, it works great. Okay. And I haven't taken this on a trip, but it looks like it's really going to stand up. All to right. unlike uh, others that you've taken with you, right. especially out well, of the country, which was an HP. Yeah, that, uh, the screen cracked on it. And um, I was going to turn it on real quick here, but it's not about to turn on. Anyway, there it goes. It's coming up. So as far as the computer, the, the function of the computer and everything, and at this point, I'm not displeased with it. Okay. Um, I did get it uh, here. You go. I don't know how well that picture is going to show up there, but... It really does have a beautiful screen. And there it's going and it's looking for me as far as to um, trying to look for me to do the facial recognition. So that's it. If any of you people have experience with the Z book or have questions or anything, please get in touch with us. We'd love to hear your experiences. If HP, if you're listening, <laughs> maybe you can explain yourself or come up with a. Uh, <laughs> your excuses why uh, some of these things happen so that's all I got Fred C book X2 expensive but maybe darn well worth it <laughs> I don't know I wanted to post an update on the Z book before I posted this to YouTube it's been now about three and a half months since I uh, bought the Z book from HP and even though I've been in touch with support a number of times as of yesterday, the uh, warranty on a brand new machine is still showing expired. Now, the tech that I spoke to last week assured me that it would be corrected by this week, that uh, supposedly it had been corrected before, but still showing expired. So um, as of yesterday, when I checked with the uh, support, it was still showing expired. Today, before I take this, I tried to get on and now the whole support site of HP is down. I can't get in. It says, come back later. <laughs> What's with that? You need support. You need it now. I, I just don't understand that. So although I'm satisfied with the support technicians when I'm finally able to get through, I'm not happy with HP support. Another thing I found out that I have an HP Spectre, which is uh, about $1,100 $1, I think I paid for it, a fraction of the cost of the ZBook. That had on-site warranty, which means the tech would actually come out to your house and repair it, or business. The Z-Book 
which is a very, very expensive machine meant for business, you have to send it off to get it repaired. There is no on-site. So, again, what's with that? I would think it would be the other way around. So to say that the, I'm happy with the machine, I mean, I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, I've had a few issues, uh, but they have been resolved. Happy with the support techs when I finally can get through. Very unhappy with the HP handled the ordering of the machine, uh, their response uh, when I uh, tried to order another one, and especially with their website and uh, their uh, warranty program. And basically, HP, it sucks. You've got a problem there. So thank you. I would really like to hear from anybody else who's had any issues uh, with HP or the Z-Book. Please post the comments below. Really want to hear them. Thanks.